Good morning, Dr. Eric here, Fanwood Back Relief Center, offering convenient, affordable chiropractic care. It's Thursday, we're back in the office again today, 9 to 12, 3 to 6. Please just pop on in. If you haven't been in in a long time, now's the time to come in, uh, offer your relief of your neck and back pain. Today we're going to talk about slouching. Is it really that bad? It's well known that slouching can affect your neck, your back, and cause headaches. It can cause the muscles to become uh, stretched, stressed, or loaded um, uh, inappropriately and cause uh, discomfort or tightness in those areas. But there's a few other things that slouching does that most people are not aware. I'm going to touch on a few different topics. The first being digestion. When you slouch, what you're doing is you're compressing a lot of your internal organs. So digestion can be affected. This could lead to discomfort, heartburn, constipation, um, it, abdominal pain. All these things can occur when you're prolonged slouching and you're doing it daily, day in and day out. The se second thing that's affected is breathing. If you've ever been to any type of musical concert, you'll see that the conductor always has the musician sit up nice and straight. And the reason being is that when you do that, you have full capacity of your airways. When you're slouching all the time, your lungs, your diaphragm are restricted and it can cause uh, a lot of discomfort uh, in those areas. Uh, and you're not getting your full capacity of breath, which can be a problem for many other vital functions of the body. Another thing that they realize is that uh, mood can be affected by, by slouching. Uh, just sitting alone at a job for seven to eight, nine, ten hours a day uh, has been shown to decrease, or I'm sorry, excuse me, increase depressive symptoms. You add to that poor posture uh, and it's just going to make things worse. Uh, another thing is work performance. You'll notice that nowadays a lot of people use either a standing desk or a sit to stand desk. The reason being is because sitting for those long periods of time um, will affect not only your mood like we talked about, but your work performance. Your energy levels will go down. Fatigue will set in. But if you're in a more comfortable position where your body is not slouched and you have good posture, there's less stress and strain on your body and that's going to lead to more energy, uh, more alertness and better work performance. Another thing that people don't consider is that sitting in itself does compress some of the blood vessels of the legs. So they've been showing some research how this can lead to spider veins. And if you add to it poor posture, there's even more compre compression or a restriction of blood flow, and this can lead to varicose veins or even blood clots later down the road. So these are some of the things that slouching does affect. So uh, try to do your best when you're sitting, standing, get your shoulders back, open up your chest, uh, get your neck and shoulder, your head over your shoulders. Uh, and this is gonna help with not only your neck pain and back pain and headaches, but a lot of other vital uh, functions in the body. For any questions about this, uh, about what your workstation should look like ergonomically to maximize the best posture, just give us a call, shoot us a message. You can even come into the office and I can sit down and, and show you how you should set up your workstation to, for most product productivity and also for better health of your spine. Uh, that's all we got for today, guys. Hopefully you have a, a, a good day. Hopefully the sun does come out. Uh, and please click like the video, share it. Uh, I, I'm grateful for all the support I get on social media and uh, have a great day. Talk to you next time.